welcome back to Seat Story Cup. I hope that you are enjoying yourselves as much as we are. We just loved that last match so much. Yeah, we got a uh, winner's match coming up. That's right. But first, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the TIG TV site. I want to show you guys some stuff. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump onto my screen. Okay, so at taketv.net. You'll see it's it's the live portion. See the streams and stuff? Look at that chat. You guys are amazing. Look at that. Uh, scroll down some. See this part here? Donate. It's an important part of esports nowadays. Mm. Go ahead, click on that. Here we are. Right? This is actually, this is pretty funny. We have a goal of getting $23 donated to the prize pool. 50% it looks like uh, of all donations go into the prize pool of the tournament. Already the prize pool was 20 grand. That means that we have $15 of donations, which means $30 have been donated. Now, to unlock the first level prize, we need $16 more donations, guys. And that's important. Let's go ahead and read some of this to see. Make a wonderful tournament, as always, from Cilia. Uh, Take TV Heart tournament. from Final Masterpiece. Yay, says Kaeltor. I mean, this you could be one of these people. Wow. We need $16 more, and we're going to unlock something. That take was talking about, uh, not sure exactly what it is, but he said it would either be really cool or really cringy. So mm. both of those. Usually that means both. That goes along with Hearthstone just perfectly, I think. And uh, so guys, get yeah, in right. there, give some donations. And I think I'm going to do that myself. You're going to donate that money, yeah. make sure we get there? Hit caps lock, spam John Madden a few times. <laughs> We're good to go. I mean, we, right. we need another, what is that? Eight, another $16. You gonna donate that it's much? A little steep. Maybe. Sixteen. Yeah. I can do How about 16. each of us donate five dollars? We're almost there. All right. All right. Five fifty. All right. And All we're right. done. Uh, That's I it. don't know. Now you're just milking us. <laughs> I'm milking you. Oh, I'm scamming you guys. <laughs> All right. So guys, definitely go check that out at TakeTV.net. Uh, okay. So we have the winners match coming up now. It's gonna be Powder against Savits, and. We actually do have the decks written down on a piece of paper because the people here at Take TV are so great taking care of us. We have for Powder, he'll be playing Warrior Mage and Warlock. His Druid was banned. And for Savits, he'll be playing Paladin Mage and Warrior. And his Warlock is banned, which is kind of funny because Powder was saying he's afraid of that Pally deck. So maybe he was full of it. Mm -hmm. It is, it is a... Uh I mean, and anything that's like super aggressive, Zooey, and you're not really too familiar with, does seem pretty scary. But um, I think the uh, the win condition is fairly defined, and I think uh, it is a deck you can play against if you know what's in it. Yeah, honestly, its matchups are not like there's there's very few matchups that are like exceptionally favored. That's the thing. Uh, your hand, you get, sorry, I should have feel like I should have helped there. I didn't. What is that? Are this you gonna is, eat meat, Crip? This is vegan meat. That's vegan meat? Vegan sausage. Someone needs to make me some of that. Uh, you can have one of those. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I've only been eating just, bread just all day. One, okay, just one. Uh, we need to go ahead and obsovete here. I think we're almost ready to start, so. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, we, so we should be starting this very, very shortly. Let's get the uh, spectator set up. Yep. What do you think for the the start? Is there what way would you go about starting? Would you go with the the weakest deck type of thing? Uh, yeah, I mean that's one way to do it. But if you anticipate that, you can try to spike a free win. Sometimes playing your best deck first is is also good because then you get the the win off of it guaranteed, and then uh, they still have all three other decks, so it doesn't really change your it doesn't like lower your chances of. So you don't want to use your middleest deck, basically. Exactly. Yeah, that's okay. usually the worst. But unless they're expecting you to pick the best or the worst deck, then sometimes you want to play the middle deck to throw them off. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, usually it's not a huge deal, though. But there's definitely a lot of variance in uh, just blind picking. Like just rolling a die or something like that so they can't predict you, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Just give it up completely Vegan to the Vegan meat, Crip. That is a slap in the face to to just taste buds everywhere well, across the world. It might I be mean, tasty. They, they, I don't they know. probably want it. They probably wanted to give me the German experience, you know? Oh, you guys got to hit the obs on this PC. Oh, sorry, so yeah, sorry. This, is, uh, this is vegan worst. Who are we expecting? Vegan worst! <laughs> are we I'm not joking. Oh, really? Savits, yeah. Savits. All right. Yeah, you're, you're on it, Savits there. <clears throat> okay, so this match, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. It looks like we are going to see from Powder a uh, handlock deck here. And from Savits, a warrior deck. So this is a very old matchup. Right. Yeah, well, the Warlock deck. Warrior. Yeah, the Warlock deck has changed a lot. 
uh, compared to the way it used to look. Oh, not this one, though. A lot of people just aren't playing Mountain Giant anymore, but, you know, if you're planning on banning Hunter or uh, just, like, aggressive decks, then Mountain Giant looks pretty strong. So kind of a classic handlock versus uh, Warrior. I'm going to give the edge to Warrior because it's... Uh, we have reached the donation goal. Oh, wow. Wow, you guys, you guys are sick ballers donating $16 or more so quickly. Wow. And that's pretty awesome. That means at around 8 o'clock we're going to go ahead and do that. But go ahead and tell me, why do you think uh, the Warrior deck? Uh, it's really tough to deal full 30 damage as the as the Warlock uh, if the Warrior plays a big game Hunter. Because the Warrior is going to basically just have enough removal to kill all your stuff. And then at some point, uh, they just drag, like Harrison, your Draxus. And they're always threatening Gromosh later in the game, so you can't really tap too much. Mm -hmm. uh, just... It's generally going to favor Warrior as the game goes on, just because okay. of how hard it is to ever get board control as Warlock. I've always felt, uh, in, at least in the old days of this matchup, that if you could get a Twilight down very quickly, that would be problematic a lot of the times for Warrior, because if you hit them one time with that shield block, suddenly become right. far less good. Absolutely. So I guess we'll see if he can actually get something done with that. Yeah, I mean, there's no... Uh there's no shield slam here for Warrior. Might have to, he's thinking about War Axe Execute. Mm. I guess it's better than Sludge Belcher. I don't know. I'd probably play Sludge Belcher. Yeah, I would. I would probably Sludge there as well. At this stage of the game, the the creatures are not not too dangerous. Right. You really have time to be patient. And save your most efficient removal. So I'm actually surprised to see the execute there. Yeah. Yeah. Belcher into Sylvanas is definitely a pretty strong curve. I Let's see. Gonna be coin, out, uh, coin out Tarzan, man. What? <laughs> uh, he doesn't have shield block and stuff, right? I so. probably would have done that play, actually. Yeah. yeah. But life tap, Mountain Giant's also really strong. It, like... I have no time oh, this is interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, but... <clears throat> life tap, Mountain Giant's pretty strong because you want to be tapping as much as you can early as the Warlock just to have more options throughout the game. Uh, Playing Sylvanas into this instead of just slamming Big Game Hunter is such a good play because... Normally the issue with Sylvanas is the Warlock's going to have the Owl for it, but in this case, even if he has the Owl, Mountain Giant still goes to 3 health and it gets killed by the uh, mm. Axe. Well, this could complicate, though. Right, we're going to see a Tap Watch or Sun Fury. It's, it's not yeah. bad. Yeah. Definitely, uh, oh, oh wow, this is... I would be very surprised at that. I mean, he, I guess he could like coin out the BGH or something, but is that the way you want it? BGH is actually very good against Warrior. I don't want to see Powder attack the Sylvanas. It doesn't. Even... Yeah, I would like to see just Sludge Belcher and go and face, but yeah, you know, let it, um, playing the Watcher Sun Fury lets you life tap here, so that's kind of the advantage to this play. He's gonna make his hand a little clunkier though. Two Belchers, Siphon, uh, Emperor, Doctor Boom, just a lot of slow cards. Oh, well, he gets the lock there. 50 50. Outplayed. <laughs> hmm. You know, it was Emperor of his own. That I is a tried great Emperor, draw. Tried Emperor in, um, in uh, Handlock, and it didn't seem that good. Really? Yeah. Depends on the list. Once, if your list is defensive enough, then uh, you're going to have the time to slam it. And pretty much, War Warlock, I think, is the best deck for it. Overall. I think that's. Like exactly really? the list. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. That might just be anecdotal. Maybe just those games that it's wasn't just, that good. It's um, just most of the combos enables are spell combos, and the combos for Warlock are just possible anyway. Right. Okay. So it doesn't enable you to do something like ridiculous. It just kind of speeds up the tempo a little bit. Nah, right. That's fair. It's like your giants get out one turn quicker or yeah. something like that. I mean, what it is is a six mana five five that draws you two innervates at the end of every turn it's in play. So it's like it's still pretty strong, <laughs> yeah. Even if it's not letting you savage roar them for thirty. Um, Sarah awakens the dream. Oh uh, god! Pretty much the card you want on every single board with that. Uh, and, and anytime you have more than six life, you want your Sarah awakens basically. <laughs> oh boy! Does Warrior actually have something here to deal with that? Well, I guess so. Yeah. Of course, with that, it just Sarah awakens. Looks good enough to me. Yeah, yeah. it looks uh, fine. Well, let's do it. You can even boomster. Oh, God. 
Because the clear Dr. Boom efficient, they usually like, need a BGH or Shadow Flame. And yeah. both of those are going to make it. So Ysera is still going to dominate and get another Dream. Yep. <laughs> Pretty sick here by Sweets. <laughs> oh. right. Well, let's check his life total. So oh, it's strong 18. Strong Ysera play from Good Sweets. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I guess that's that's uh <laughs> I've got the beast. His own Dr. Boom in a big game, oh man. I would play Sarah in every deck if I could do this. I think here you actually have to um you have to boom bot into Dr. Boom. For the execute? You wanna awakens again? I think you wanna awakens again. Uh what about hitting face of Boombots and then... I guess no, you might as well attack it. It doesn't change much. Well, I guess I would guarantee. Right. You could just but save it, the Awakens. I mean, he has Execute anyway, so it doesn't really... Right. I was thinking of maybe going for the big game, and if it gets really good outcomes, you don't even Awaken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, if that Boombot hits and kills the big game, which is basically what happens every single time ever. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what? Whoa! That's bugged. Yeah. That was a one. That's not supposed to happen. I didn't know boom bots could do just one damage. Well, I could not have gone any better. I've got the beast in my side. One of those right. days for Savits. It's a good time to have one of those days. Well, he did win the last one of these, right? Surprised he thought about axing. I don't see any advantage of that. Just extra damage out there. Mm. Yeah, that's the second best one. Pretty unlucky not to get the third Ysera Awakens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed. I think he'll be able to uh, pull this one out despite so his possibility. unfortunate luck, though. Let's see. He can tap as the Warlock, but does it really help you find anything. Well, you can't quite clear this. Giant does eight. I mean, you can tap into Defender, right? Yeah. yeah. So many you can tap into quite a few cards for that to work. Or Mortal Coil. Yeah. <laughs> if he does tap, though, that gets a little bit scary with the possible Grail Lash. I think this is the biggest board possible. Alright, setting up to kill you, Sarah. She's only she only will have gotten what four dream cards, so that's <laughs> Right, the good ones too. Yeah. No laughing sisters here. Yeah. <laughs> when I put I stopped playing Yosera a while back because on my PC at least, mm -hmm. it's not called Yosera, it's called Laughing Mother. Yep. Just the infinite laughing sister train. I yeah. feel your pain, man. Just nonstop. I look at my laughing sisters and I ask them, why aren't you Leox? I would prefer Leox here. Right. Hmm. It's still good value. Yes, it is still good value. <laughs> three mana, three five. Thank you, Crip. <laughs> it is, indeed, yes. Yeah, I mean, the spells are just so much better than the minions late in the game. Uh, yeah. so. Nightmare, also a solid pickup. Uh, it's just... Spells, like when you play Sarah, it's always pretty late in the game. You usually don't need more value once you play your nine mana card that drew you a card. So you want the spells because they have immediate impact on the board. Yeah. It's a pretty big deal. And those are exactly the ones you needed for immediate impact. Is that even enough? I don't think it is. Nightmare, Ysera. He's even got the axe. Yeah, I mean, 10. Oh, it's, it's enough. It's enough. He's one off a of lethal. I'm not joking. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's actually one off a of lethal. I wonder. Chill block might do it though. He's got one. Yeah, twenty one, yeah. Um well what are you gonna draw into with shield block? Cr cruel task. Oh yeah, yeah, or Gromash actually. There are two cruel taskmasters in the deck. Well, maybe the the better play is to just armor smith and another belcher. I think I just shield block first and just see what I get. Yeah, you may as well. Like, I don't think you're really stressed on the board right now. No, no. 
I, I don't understand even trading the, the Belcher oh, at this moment. He just wants the Awakens because it's just better. It's just there's no way to lose if he awakens. I think he's gonna look for lethal first. No. Nope. But yeah, we're still just gonna see awakens into Sludge Belcher number two. And then another dream card. Yeah. So is that five dream cards now? Yeah, it'll be after this turn. It'll be up to five. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. That's a good run. You don't normally see that. <laughs> you know, Darson's still paying uh, paying debts. Armor Smith tempo. Yep. What's he got? Oh, another dream. Siphon Soul. <laughs> it's about time. Oh, and he plays a Kazan. Okay. Actually, the second Siphon Soul, isn't it? I think it is. No, what did he use the Siphon Soul on before he did it? I think he used it on Emperor. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are right. Okay. Oh, man. Well, oh. that Ysera was pretty good. Yeah. Turns out, uh, two mana board sweep. Pretty strong card. A few times over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With damage to the face. And don't forget it's that Ysera like, was like a fireball as well, you know? Yeah. It's not a big deal. <laughs> All right, so a uh, strong first win there, Force of Eats. Yeah, it takes a Warrior out of the lineup. So he's got a win with Freeze Mage and Paladin still. Freeze Mage. What do you pick here as Powder? You're against Freeze Mage Powder, and you just go Warrior to try to pick up a win? I think his uh, Warrior is a real coin flip because you don't want to give the. Uh, okay, Warrior is going to lose to Paladin and it's going to beat Mage. Will it lose to Paladin? I actually don't know. I think it'll lose to Paladin. The Warrior deck? Right. I, I guess if he gets his divine, I think it's destroyed by. I think it did, yeah, Paladin. Because I know even slower Paladin is really tough for Warrior to beat. But uh, a list like this is just gonna have, like you said, insane divine favors. So yeah. it should be even harder. So Warrior is just a coin flip, right? You don't want to pick Warrior as Powder. I guess his Mage list is Freeze Mage. Yeah, yeah, they're both playing Freeze Mage. So that's uh, it's gonna be a coin flip if you get Mage, but you're gonna. Yeah, there's there's actually oh, yeah. some very wild matchups here. Freeze we don't know what his warlock is yet, right? So, right, but you can assume it's like slower demon lock. They're all pretty much not necessarily Twilight Drake list, but they all play out the same way: kill some stuff, draw some cards. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I'd probably pick warlock just because it's it, it should, in theory, have a chance. Any list of warlock should have a chance against Freeze Mage and Paladin. So, just has to draw his Hellfires or his. I guess Mortal Coils against Paladin. That's the matchup I'm not sure on. All right, he actually chooses uh, Warrior here. Warrior and it's going to be mage. against Freeze Mage. Yeah, do we know if... Uh, that was ballsy, but it worked out. Do we know if Savitz plays Equality in Paladin? Out of curiosity. I really don't think... I don't I've think seen so. his list that he like, uses in other places. Yeah, it's, it's super optimized for minions and Divine Favor. Yeah. Yeah. Equality is a card you have to play. Right, so I think Warlock is not going to work. Yeah, so I think Warlock will beat Paladin if that matchup comes up. All right, well, there's a couple of small nuances to this matchup from both sides. For example, playing Armorsmith turn two is something almost everyone does, but it opens you up to turn two Doomsayer. Um, not going to happen here. So this is historically one of the more lopsided matchups. Yeah, but uh, with Tarzan, you know, you get, oh, is, is this fake uh, meat not that good, Crip? It kind of tastes like meat, but it's kind of like... Is it vegan worst? <laughs> That's what it is, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it's like super chewy. It's like rubber. Excellent. You don't say. <laughs> I try yeah. to save you guys, so I've been a bit silent here. Yeah, yeah. I've been, you know, mentally tackling whether I should put this into my mouth and ingest it. I'm glad that you gave it a try, and now I know that I don't need to. It's um, all right. The taste is fine, you know? It's it's, it's just bad uh, texture. It's just weird. Like, you keep, keep chewing at it. Chewy stuff. I don't know. I'm going to look for a banana after this. I think that would be better. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, like, I was uh, trying to say before this, um... 
With a good Tarzan, you can get like a million fireballs off Antonidas. Like, That's I wouldn't true. ever expect Tarzan to live two turns, but if you have yeah, just the right cards in your hand, maybe you get, you know. Have we seen Antonidas in Savisa's deck, though? He has to have it. He has to have it. He, he, I mean, he was making fun of you for not running it in your Freeze Mage. Yeah, that could have been mind games. Hmm. Hmm. That's true. That's a deep, deep mind game. Hmm. It's playing mind games with the commentators that are going to see. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's certainly, uh, certainly a really powerful card. Um, I mean, I played a little bit of Freeze Mage, and I found like I was never using Pyroblast, and uh, Antonia seemed like a better fit for me. Yeah. So it seems fair that it's just a better fit for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Antonia is in most lists. It's um, it's a card you can cut for double Pyro sometimes, which has its its advantages. But uh, yeah, usually Antonia I'd say is better. Yeah. So a lot of options here for Savitz. He's thinking about just throwing down Doomsayer, but the odds of it wow. living are pretty low. Dies to every removal spell. What do you? Uh, by the way, you were mentioning before you actually don't like this, the the one heal bot in right. Mage. Yeah, I mean, that, like I said, that slot can be whatever you want, but I think heal bot's one of the worst options com compared to something like a cone of cold, which is going to gain you more life, be better against Lothab, just do everything that heal bot does, but better. There's lots of cute things you can try. Mind control tech. Mm. All right. Warrior gets in for a bit more. Yeah. Armors Madness. up. I like it. I, I like that he's armoring like basically every time, like skipping playing cards to do it. I do like that style. Yeah. Well, there's that antennas. Every time I cast this matchup, I just I'm begging the whole time for Warrior to draw Ragnaros so it ends faster. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he has a polymorph in here. Oh man, Ice Nova there, or Frost Nova? Yeah, he doesn't want to draw cards. That up. It's always Ice Nova in my mind. Oh, is it? Yeah. I have cards like that. Was Ice Nova like an uh, actual ability in World of Warcraft? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and in most other Duh. games. That's true. And it's not an ability in StarCraft, man, so I don't know. It's not in Hearthstone oh, okay. either. Those are the two games I play. Oh, that's a pretty big scientist. I think you want to wiggle him a little bit. There we go. Whoa. Did you just make him play that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Archon mode for Hearthstone. I feel like the out of, out of control armor smith is really like the worst thing imaginable for Freeze Mage. Our yeah, mode like, is in. I decide who wins and who loses the tournament, or is that like a thing in StarCraft? It's a thing in StarCraft. Oh, Just got okay. released. Oh, that's cool. That's all right. Um, well, that's a pretty oh, good death bite. My God. Yeah, it really is. I want to see him actually drop like maybe the Harrison or something and just. I would I would play another creature. Yeah, I think Shield Main's fine. I think Harrison is like yeah I know actually Shield Main is fine. You're right. That's actually a better one. Uses your mana a bit more efficiently. It doesn't really matter yeah. when that comes out compared to Harrison. This matchup was like pretty rough for Freeze Mage before uh, GVG came out, but then Shield Maiden just made it so much harder. On top of what it already was. Yeah, it already felt. This pretty is just free. like the max turtle game. Yep. Look at this armor. Oh my god. I'm excited to see what Emperor can do, though. Yeah, he's yeah, going to have to do a lot. Look, I mean, he's, uh, if he holds his cards just right, he's got Ice Lance and Frostbolt already in his hand. If he gets like a second Frostbolt and a second Ice Lance, how much damage is that? That's insane. Right, yeah. Because yeah. on one turn, he's allowed to... I mean, he'll be able to play so many spells. But you also need the time to play all the fireballs you get. Yeah. For example, yeah. cards like Rag or just Gromash put you under a ton of pressure. Dr. Boom as well. Mm. One of the best cards against uh, Freeze Mage. Oh, yeah, yeah. That always what gives me a headache. Do. What to do? The end is coming! <laughs> yeah, right. Well... <laughs> Incoming Colossal Shield Slam. <laughs> Oh, the end is coming for Doomsayer. Never gonna happen. What to do? What to do? Actually, I think you Doctor Boom and Shield Slam. Yeah. 
I think the extra creatures on the board make it so you gain such a ridiculous amount of armor that you just can't lose at that point. You probably can't lose at this I think, point, uh, either, but that's I just think like we're almost astronomically there out of range. Right, yeah. There should be a limit to armor, I think. Should, like, turn around once it's 100 armor. Was that a two-armor donation? <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> it's trying to help take TV hit that goal. <laughs> <laughs> Do they get one of that armor? <laughs> one of the armor gets added to the prize pool, of course. Wow. Yeah, I guess he was sent up for the sheep. He's gonna shield maiden. I mean, what's Flame Strike gonna do? Gain him ten more armor? No, nah, right, Belcher's fine. It's probably a little better than Shield Maiden. The Doctor Boom that could have been. I'm just excited about how high this armor is going to get in this game. Yeah, I, th I want to say it's like a uh, 128-bit limit or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> well, I don't think it's actually a fair matchup. Like, right now, it's it's 2v1. Pretty much. I bring oh, life. God. Well, Extraza, the people's champion, making the matchup end faster. Yeah, but what if what if the mage plays Alistraza now? Oh, Who that, cares? That'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> Warrior could have Volkstrazed himself there and won the game handily. <laughs> it's like, no, oh, there's there. Emperor. I feel like you got a mulligan for that card in Arcane Intellects and just slam it turn six, and then Warrior needs to not have the removal. Mm. Well, that, that last part is never going to happen. Exactly. Right, okay. so. Thing is, like, you need the Frostbolt. You can't. You can't Frostbolt for 5 3. You just can't. Right. Yeah. You mean Ice Lance? I mean Frostbolt. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. I thought you meant about freezing this, uh, the 8-8 eight eight to try to stop getting proc. I think Ice Lance on 8-8 eight eight is maybe okay. Mm. What's your plan for winning here? Then? Oh, no, we're just seeing how long we can draw. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Silly me. Plan for winning is you, uh, Reach across the table. <laughs> ticked an owl. Unplug Savit's computer. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> it doesn't go with it, though. Yeah, let's stop him from armoring. Don't want to don't wanna fall too low on That's life true. there. That's true. The thing is, if he did that, Flame Strike would have killed the mage, probably. Right. That, had, that actually happened earlier to us. Oh, yeah. We, we yeah. kind of recovered, and then it turns out Dr. Room does six damage when you flame strike him to death. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ice Block doesn't work. There we go. Oh, okay. I didn't see that play. Well, you know what? I think he, he could have gotten missed. a big chunk of the armor gone yeah, he if he stayed in the game. for the Pyroblast. Yeah. He could have got him down to like 10 armor. Yeah? You know, if he, if he stayed in there <laughs> and <Yeah>. tryharded. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't, though. That was uh, super one sided. So. Okay, so that means that right now we have Powder with a Warrior win. We have uh, Savits with the Warrior win. All right. Warrior doing well so That's far. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's got Mage, Warlock. So we're done seeing armor up. Yeah. Powder's got uh, Freeze Mage and Warlock against Savits with Freeze, Freeze Mage, Mage and Pally. And Pally okay. Ooh, let's see Freeze Mage versus Freeze Mage. There's nothing more that I like yeah, than watching Freeze Mages just blizzard empty boards against each other. <laughs> I mean, when you look at the, the Paladin Warlock, though, um, I feel like the Warlock has like such an easy time in that game if you just draw okay. You might be right about that. It, it's weird because the standard Paladin decks, the mid-range ones that play one equality and like one owl are actually heavily favored yeah. against like every mid-range Warlock. But... Hobgoblin Paladin, I would be very hesitant to say it's favored against anything without having played it a lot. So I'm, I guess I got to give the edge to Warlock too. Well, if it takes the game here, we'll never oh. know. <laughs> Hobgoblin, we got a we got a plan. Uh, that plan might work. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, may, uh, Freeze Mage isn't. It I just no. I, I, I think I'm only the whole thing. I think you want Divine Favor. Divine Favor just. Like, Is that even good? Do you do you lose to running out of cards? Yeah, I mean, you could play Fatigue here instead of anything else, but... I think Hobgoblin's your best chance of winning, because you just make things that are outside of Flame Strike range mm -hmm. and hope that the Mage doesn't have Frostbolts and stuff, because they're not going to keep those early. So uh, you just 
Yeah, go hobgoblin, hobgoblin. And you don't think together. that you would keep a frostbolt here in your opening hand as freeze mage against? You know what this is as far oh, as power. Oh wow! Look going. at that hand. Maybe. Holy cow! That's pretty good. Yeah, it's a really good freeze mage the hand. And it's really Paladin needs all the help they can get. Oh, it's tough. You really wanted to coin a two drop there, but all of them are still weak. Mm. There we go, Wisp. That'll get him. <laughs> get him for one. Stone Test Boar. We're in, boys. Come on, just, uh, well, Stone Test Boar would actually be two here because of Night Juggler. Oh, you couldn't play it. <gasps> yep. Oh, God, you're right. You can play as many Wisps as you want on this amount of mana, but not even one Boar. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why every deck needs Tarzan. Yep. Mm. Well, I think you... Oh, this is tough. Playing Doomsayer would just... Soak seven? Yeah. I mean, it's too easy to kill. I think you want it to go off, especially considering you already have Frost Nova. Yeah. So. Uh, personally, I think I would have played Frostbolt there. Oh, my God. That is the best Mukla ever. Yes. Yes, it is. The dream. Oh, the knife misses? What? So unlucky. <laughs> I want it's a travesty. Freeze Mage is having a really bad time so far. Yeah. That Mookla is so big, though. Yeah. Getting hit by monkeys. Because those, those bananas warrior. are just absolute garbage. Yeah. You could banana up that Doomsayer. Make him a 2 9. <laughs> I remember back in uh, beta, Wreckful would play this Miracle Rogue deck with Doomsayers. So they would silence the Doomsayers, and then you'd cold blood them. Just... Oh, sick. I like that. Oh, Jeeves. Wow. Is that the play? I would Jeeves. I think I like the hammer. It's more aggressive. And, well, it makes the Mukla a lot harder to get rid of now. Mm. And then as long as he draws a one drop next turn, it's pretty sick. Yeah. Well, at least he can use that uh, Doomsayer now. You know, I always get stressed in observer mode because the enemy turn button goes way before. Right. <laughs> so I'm like, no, you got to go. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's a pretty good draw. Pretty good draw. Yeah. yeah. Six cards, three mana. It's all right. Yeah, that'll do. I need an owl in one of those. Then we'll make it a really, really good draw. <laughs> Does he play that? Who cares? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I didn't get it here. Well, that, that went from, like, the Palin winning by a lot to the mage, you know, surviving and possibly turning the game around to, right. oh, God. yeah, no chance again. I mean, that's uh, it's just the strength of holding Doomsayer when you have that, uh, when you have the Frost Nova for it. Because this Paladin deck doesn't seem like it plays ways to interact with it. There's no equality. There's no silence, at least that we've seen. It's going to get him. Juggle time. Overdraw is possible, I believe, yes. If you fully ping down every creature on the board, you will mill one card. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be sick? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it would. Oh, there we go. Nope. Oh, the can't, dream is gone. Anymore. No, it's not. There's still a bit of hope. Oh, yeah, if you weapon down the 1-1. One, one, yeah. You'd have to weapon down the 1-1, one, one, though. I don't like that play. I don't think you have to weapon down the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, you do. To mill. You have to force him to get draw 4 so his... No, that stops. Yeah, now you can't. You hit face here. Get in there and fight, maggot! Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see if uh, Mage gets Blizzard here. Nope. What to do? What to do? So there's an Ice Block Doomsayer setup, but you're just going to be dying to weapons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That ends up happening. Oh, look, he's got all of his cards on his hand. Now, this is the problem that I have with this deck, actually, is that just like Doom Guards, Jeeves travel in pairs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's Doesn't seem to make that much of a difference this game, though. 
I think we have to like interact with the board every now and then. We have to like. Oh, do we? Move the mouse and stuff. Is that what's happening? Yeah. I I think, can you go get your thing. mouse? It Love. just automatically moves no, on its own. No, let me help you. There you go. What to do? Oh, oh, excellent. Here's another one. <gasps> Broke the well. You know, that, I have to that, say that, that, that game board needs a rework. Yeah, I think Griffin got nerfed. Dude, why yeah, is it the Black Rock uh, Mountain game board available in this yet? It's a great question. Why would they? They're making us wait till the end. I guess. Seems kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Yeah. No, it's a it's a really good one, man. No, it's a good it's a very good board, but I mean I don't know what it all does yet because yeah. it takes you have thirty to minutes pay to pay the beat full them. five wings to get the game board. Of course. I think that's silly. I think it should be out already. No, man, you just don't know how business works. I think with next it was out right away, right? Yeah, yeah, it was out right away. Yeah, but the next music came like a year later. The next music? Yeah. Is there next music? There is now. Oh. I never even noticed. Yeah, if you get the next, uh, what are they called? Boards? <laughs> yeah, you get some next music going on ah. in the background. Let's get it now. Oh man, he's going for the overdraw. You know what this is? You know what's great about this? Is we get to watch Freeze Mage versus Freeze Mage then, right? Let me think. Yeah. If uh, Paladin ends up taking it. It looks like that to me. <laughs> Well, oh, God. God. Is that good? Value. So why. Ah, oh, there is Owl. Alright, so we got ways to deal with Doomsayer. Alright. One life with a Lepernome being in play. It's kind of the dream. <laughs> God, I can't. I can't think of the. Uh... <laughs> so wrecked. Yeah. It's Tyrannosaurus level. Yeah, it certainly is. Fireball Lepernum. Oh God. That was a good way to do it. I think I would have probably flame striked there, but. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mixing up a bit. Yeah. All right. Well, Saviz is up. Saviz is on uh, his last deck, which is a good thing. Yeah, that's right. Uh, very different from before. So it'll be the uh, so mage. mage going up against either Mage or Warlock. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I think I we'll mean, that's, that's an even matchup and a good matchup in my book. I think uh, Freeze Mage is good against Handlock, especially the classic one. Yeah. 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 It, it can be. It, it can go either way, though. If uh, yeah. They get I a couple good Owls or something. Right. right. Classic Handlock can just draw a double Mountain Giant, and those games are actually pretty good for the, the Warlock. Because uh, he can't, you have to freeze every turn, starting turn four, or you're yeah. taking eight. That's yeah. a big and he has a lot of life gain in that, right? That it's, was the one the with two heal bombs. Right. One thing that really carried the classic warlock in that matchup is Ragnaros, and I think that's one of the cards that right. may have been cut. Right. Yeah. It, mm. The card used to be pretty uncommon back in the day, but it's definitely good in this matchup. Uh, combo is also very helpful, I think, too. Just being able to capitalize on getting that early mountain giant damage is nice. But yeah, I think the two heal bots are like the biggest change. And that's definitely going to help the hand lock out. Also, Lothab being pretty standard. Also a very important card. So, All right. Oh, still quite a bit of game left. Yep. Mountain Giant into Lothab, actually. That's like that's like a lot of... I can't add. can't actually count that high how much damage that is. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. yeah. Like at least eight uh, once, right? At least right? eight, yeah. yeah. Well, it's so it could be eight probably, up to like a very wide 21. range. It's gonna be the eight, and then the the oh. eight plus the five. Crip here. The well, I mean, if you froze it, the turn it came out, right? Then, right. Yeah. Then yeah, okay. that would be, I guess, thirteen. Whoa, thirteen. That it would be done. Nice. Yeah. You did it, buddy. Thanks. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. It is going to be Warlock versus Freeze Mage. Darn. Good hand here for for Mage. Anytime you have coin, scientist, loot hoarder, it's just a dream. That's right. going to help him uh, actually kill the, the first threat from the Warlock, too. You know, one Frostbolt, and you can take out Mountain Giant with that hand. Ah. Yeah, see, that's such a funny way that it mulligans when you're watching. Yeah. Just kind of like it shuffles the cards back in. There's a Molten. There's a Hellfire that's going to do absolutely nothing. 
<laughs> yeah, it's kind of the dream hand from uh, from Mage and a pretty terrible hand from Warlock so far. Yeah, not a whole lot going on there. But anything can change with hero power. So oh, now you got to tap. He would have had a really tough decision there if he didn't draw Mountain Giant about whether he wanted to tap or play Owl. Uh, but yeah. Tappy tappy. Might even see Hellfire here if that act like it's played. So we'll see if Mage wants to play around it. Oh wow. Let the pain speak to me. Right, Acolyte down. So This might swing pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, though. it definitely could. Because, I mean, he's got, like, a bunch of big minions that are going to be popping out rather quickly. Oh, God. How do you lose this as a mage, though? I'll show them all! Well, from this point, it's tough. Because, uh, that's... That's so much freezing. That's so much Such damage now with Antonitis, yeah. Maybe you just play Sludge Belcher to prevent some damage. Really? I think I just take it. Tap, mountain, bam! Molten's <laughs> coming out next turn. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose. I, I just don't know how you win. Like you stall the game with Belcher, but the more you stall, the more spells the mage gets. Yeah. You need like one of those crazy turns. All right, we just don't want to take the two. Like you want him to have to have as many cards as possible to kill you. So two life does matter when you take Healbot into account. Um. Yeah, he's just gonna. Put as much pressure on as possible. I like uh, just Mountain Giant Ancient Watcher here. Seems pretty good. But Watcher in the middle. So many possibilities. Uh, oh, he's, I'm not a fan of this. You didn't need more cards. I, like, if oh. you were going to do this, why not just do it last turn? Right. That, that's what, my what, what do you be digging for exactly? That other heal bot, I guess. I mean, yeah, Boom I guess. is good, but it's not like... You didn't need it. You had other good plays here. Uh, if he played Watcher, he could go like Drake Owl. But I guess the idea is he wants is to play Is he dead to Mold. Fireball? No, he's one off. If, no, if he draws Fireball next turn. Right. This is where some uh, tough math... Oh, I don't think you can see that done. coming. Hmm. I mean, I I think that Freeze Mage, everyone knows everyone's list within two cards. So yeah. I think you can kind of see it coming. I don't think you do, though. I don't think you just don't bother. Well, you and I don't bother, but that's why we're on the casting couch the whole weekend. Like, you got to <laughs> win. Like, you, 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 have to play, you have to play the Drake into the Molten. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would play that as well. He has so, so much healing, though. But the tap the turn before, I think, was the questionable part. Mm. Rather than what he should do this turn. He actually wants to siphon soul his Belcher, I believe. Which kind of There's no way that way. would be the play. Yeah. I think he's just bluffing. Well, if he does that, it's because he still wants to play the Molten more quickly or something, but it doesn't. I don't like that at all. I would say you just play the Twilight Molten and just hope. Cross your fingers. <laughs> siphon soul his own hero. <laughs> would that bring, would that bring him to zero or would that bring him to three? <laughs> Do you gain the That's life before question. you die? That's a question. Ain't you watcher. Any big misplay here. Should have siphoned sold face. <laughs> now Ice Block would have proc'd at 27 then. Did he just... Oh, yeah. No, he attacked. Okay. See how you ever see Mountain Judge? This is why it's so strong. It forces the, the Freeze Mage player to start. It forces them to have the freezes, but it kind of forces them to play them every turn, even when it's not convenient. Or else they get punished pretty hard. Mm -hmm. But dodging Fireball here is... not really a priority because of that heal bot play. It's pretty defensive, but I like it. I mean, that's such a good follow-up here. Just play the second giant and the <laughs> Drake. Yeah. Pull the Drake first. Because the thing is, if you play the the giant first, you can't play the Drake because then you look dumb. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think it's the opposite of that, Artos. 
Huh? Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. It's okay, man. It's okay. Oh, I, I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, I, no, I, I, I just know there's one really bad way to play with that turn. Right. Yeah. 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 I wonder. It's exactly the opposite. I'm like, no, he has the coin. He just so he it actually out. tapped again instead of playing Drake. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. He passed me looking for the other heal bot. Right. I mean, the owls are good, too. Yeah, actually, these two owls are pretty sick. I think defend. Oh, oh my God. God. That'll do. Yeah. I think Siphon Soul is decent here, actually. No, no, no. You, you loathe have double owl. Yeah, I would say so. Maybe single owl, dark bomb. I don't like Lothab, but like with ice block up, I don't just don't like Lothab. That's fair. Yeah. Well, Powder likes life tap. That's yeah, he likes sure. to draw cards. All right, he is gonna go with it. From God. Huh? God said, hi, mom. Oh, jeez. <laughs> was that, was that Lothab play like the one thing he should not have done in this game? I, I like, think so. It seems to me like that was just premature. If you just wait until they have to play Ice Block, they can just kill him no matter what because they can't freeze plus Ice Block. Right. I mean, there are some exceptions, but this is not one of them. Oh, wow. That is pretty strong, actually. I think you just waste as much stuff as you can, because next turn you're going to do Antonitis, Ice Block, Frostbolt Face, Ice Lance Face. <laughs> Speaking of... Yeah, Tarzan's uh, pretty Tarzan. good. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Art is pretty insane when you get a hand like this, but I mean, that opening from Freeze Mage is a big part of why mm -hmm. it has these cards at the right time. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't always happen, but it's definitely the dream. Shields up! And the thing is, I think the only way to... Actually, no, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. He just, he just filled the board. What do you mean? It's, I mean, you siphon soul this. Oh, so you siphon soul. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, proc him. What's up? I think Powder's keeping uh, Elkstraza in mind, which is why he's okay with playing with all of his extra life above fifteen. It's a big part part of why he's uh, tapping so much. Mm -hmm. But no, that, that's exactly what I was talking about. Like, you can't play anything now. You've lost 100%. Oh, because you can't unfreeze your guys? Right. Yeah, but he has a Dark Bomb in hand. No, it doesn't. Like, you can't heal. What to do? What like, to the, the Antonis combo, you can't do anything. He has to, like... I think he has to Dark Bomb his own creature and top deck anti kill bot to stay alive. Because you can't play Jaraxxus, for instance. No, I know that, but... Yeah. Speeds is one damage off lethal here. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Three, three, four... Th yeah, one damage. Yeah. yeah. I think you go for the Antonidas play. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Antonidas Ice Block, just really strong. What to do? I don't know. Wait, it, it just I've actually never seen this. If you if you drop Antonitis and like go Frostbolt the Warlock face and then he were to play Draxus, could he attack you? Hold on, so. is he is he it's fishing? Is okay. he fishing for lethal here? No, this is right because because Savitz drew the Frost Nova, he knows that to do? playing Frost Nova would basically stop the Warlock from playing any dudes next turn. So if you ice block Nova and uh just like Throw some burn at the face. I guess it. Yeah, frostbolt ping face. Now you still have lethal next turn. Plus you kind of stop healing this way. So I think mortal coil is the best draw from warlock. It would let him draw axis. 
Have we seen Mortal Call yet from his deck? I don't think so. No, he might have cut it. No. Maybe at the well, intention. Oh, he, he has Shadow Flame. He can. Right. Use that. Um. So many. I mean, he can proc the Ice Block here, but it's not. It's not going to do it. Isn't is this the Warlock list we saw that has Kezen in it? No, I don't think so. Wasn't it that the would last explain match? the tapping. This is, uh, like if you do this, you right. Well, last match Powder was playing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and in fact, yeah, the other guy was actually um, Vortex was playing. You have Mech to Dark Bomb your minion. You have to Dark Bomb your minion draw heal. Right. He doesn't know that though. He might just take the risk. Yeah. That's 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 a pretty perfect hand from Savitz though. Like, uh, you know, either the Frost Bolts or the Ice Lance could be in the bottom of the deck. There could not be the Antonitis. I guess at this point the Antonitis is not relevant. But yeah, you know, seven cards in hand. I guess you can expect to be dead. So maybe you go for the Dark Bomb play. But wouldn't you wouldn't you Dark Bomb your own guy, Life Tap, and then if you really need to proc, you can Iron Beak one of your guys. He's just going to take this play. I hope that Mage doesn't have lethal. Oh, top deck fireball. Please play it. Please play it. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous damage. Yeah. Look at that. Yep. Tarzan's pretty good in, in freeze mage. 19 on 9 mana. It was, yeah. He had lethal without it, like without Tarzan, but still, mm. still strong. Well, All right, well, Freeze Mage gets its uh, first win, and that's going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Saviz is out. That's right. First place in that group. Let's take a look at some brackets here, if we can. Yeah. Mm. I'm kind of curious how the other side is, because they, they've probably uh, solidified a few, uh, a few places. Yeah, I would think so. Here, just click on. Yeah, yeah just, just click there. Bracket. All right, so it looks like six I got first place in Group B. Yeah, he's six and one with a two-zero record, and second place right now is a number guy with four and four with a one and one record. Oh. All right, well, I'm gonna be back later. I'm gonna go prepare for my match. All right, thanks Give for uh, thanks for sitting with us. And Savitz, the defending champion, first place in his group. Yeah, just kind of crushing through. You must be feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling awesome. Yeah. I mean. That was pretty good series. I might have misplit, mispicked into the second game. I think he figured it out that I don't want to leave the warrior last. So mm -hmm. I, kind of, I was actually thinking really heavily that he, he will play the freeze. So maybe I should have like not bring the warrior there. But, but like overall, I was really happy with the with the yeah, way think, that I played. I think you actually got really unlucky in the matchups. Like uh, he kind of like yoloed mm. some some counter classes <laughs> and, and ended up doing pretty damn well. Yolo maybe. wouldn't it be a yolo. <laughs> well, because like yeah. <laughs> I mean, how is it yellow in this format, though? Like, people people are pretty consistent. Because like, you could actually be up there and just roll a die, right? And just like, yeah. And then no one can counter pick you correctly because you're actually just randomizing it, right? So how it's, would that? It's it's true, but at the same time, there's some predictability with what we've seen with what people have talked about, where they yeah, just there has want to limit their yeah. Their if decks. you're gonna get three would you may as well only show one deck and stuff yeah. like that. We were actually talking about it before the game, because like, we both had Warrior, both had Freeze Mage. Just into going into the first game, we just like rolling the dice. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was pretty hilarious. Is that how you ended up choosing the first game? Uh, I, um, I I went with the logic that he won't bring Warrior, and I thought that I, I would be fine with Warrior against, like... Well, maybe even against other Warrior, but I thought it was like a safe pick. Mm -hmm. And I felt quite confident in the, in the Divine Favor deck against Straw Heavy. Freeze mm -hmm. mates like overall. Although I did in the game that I won, I did get lucky with the top deck divine favor. But overall, I think that the matchup is quite doable. Yeah. I actually thought that that matchup was was really against you. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously you crushed him, but uh, <laughs> like if if you didn't get like the that divine favor when you were basically out of cards, I think it would have been pretty rough. Yeah, true. But like, if, if you get the divine favor, it's uh, it's completely different game. And they can yeah. like stop the weapon damage that easily. And also, if there's no uh, frost nova doomsayer. It's usually gonna end up quite well. Mm -hmm. they, they, there's like a line of play where you just drop the dooms here before turn five, with, without the nova to kind of th that's pretty pretty good. But um, but I, I was confident going into it. Mm -hmm. Well, right. you're up top of group A. Yeah, who do you think is gonna come out of this group now? I don't know. I, I think I think Potter has really good chances to be honest. I, I would expect him to go through the losers okay. bracket. Okay. Okay. I think he he brought like really a smart strategy like overall and like, but felt like I was uh, maybe. Um, 
like when we did the picks and bands, like I felt like he, his lineup was like really really good. Mm -hmm. So like when the, when I saw Powder play against Vortex, I was feeling that the, the my decks overall would have been like way stronger against Vortex than Powder. Oh okay. So I just li I like the Powder strategy, and I think he's playing quite well. So I I already predict that he will go through. All right, excellent. All right, well, we'll have to see. Yes, uh, I think we're gonna take a quick break until the uh, next match. Uh, I think you uh, you guys won't be seeing me in the next match. I gotta. I have to consume these things. <laughs> this weird vegan meat. Yeah. Uh, you enjoy that, Crip. Yeah, thanks. All right, guys. So we will be right back. Make sure to check out taketv.net. And if you want, donate some to the prize pool and whatnot. Uh, Savitz is going to be really looking forward to that money that's put in that prize pool. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> congrats once again, Savitz. And we'll be right back.